hello friends and uh, welcome back to prashtis pramoji uh, today's video we are going to study regarding a very important sign that is uh, bronco's cut off sign in part 7 of palmo radio wines uh, before exactly going into the sign i would like to discuss it with a case scenario uh, which i saw it in opd today a 50 year old female uh, with no comorbidities came with complaints of uh, progressive shortness of breath for the past 3 months associated with cough um mild product mild production with this problem associated with weight loss and uh, also okay and a significant history of mass exposure this was the case she which she presented with there is no past issue of uh, tuberculosis she was vaccinated with covid uh, vaccinated with uh, covid vaccinations three doses Uh, on examination, patient had a tachycardia, 120 to 130 beats per minute. Saturation was normal. There was no pallor. There was no icterus, lumping or cyanosis. There was uh, no cervical or axillary lymphadenopathy, and there was no edema. Uh, on examination, TK was shifted to the right side. Uh, Done with uh, percussion. Dull on or uh, dull note on percussion was heard along with reduced breath sound on the whole of the right hemithorax. So initially our uh, first DD was uh, pleural effusion, but pleural effusion usually is a volume add addition because the trachea was deviated to the same side. So it could be either a collapsed lung with underlying effusion. So uh, ECG was done. It shows uh, it showed sinus tachycardia. Then we got a chest X-ray done. As you can see here, chest X-ray, uh, the trachea mildly going towards the right side. And you can see the beautiful uh, left main bronchus and the left lung. And you can see the right main bronchus, principal bronchus, is abruptly cut off. Okay, this is abruptly cut off. This is what we call it as bronchus cut off. And now there is an abrupt tapering of the bronchus. If it could be primary, principal bronchus, secondary bronchus, segmental bronchus. Very tight bronchus cut off. You can see the whole of the white homogeneous opacity on the right side, and this is abrupt tapering of a right main bronchus. So, with this X-ray, we got a CT done next. Uh, keeping in mind the differential of uh, right lung malignancy. Okay, CT showed the right main bronchus narrowing. The herniation of the left lung was the right hemithorax, showing uh, it to be a chronic one. This is the left is a parenchymal window. You can see the right main bronchus narrowing, and the left lung herniating into the right hemithorax. In mediastinal window, you can see again there is a right main bronchus narrowing, and this end, this is your uh, right thing is a collapsed lung with mass, and this end pleural effusion on the right side. Okay. So uh, how how to manage this case okay we have clinical uh, scenario we have come with a primary diagnosis how do you manage this case so what is bronchus cut off sign it is a different sign abrupt tapering of bronchus what could be the causes it could be the tumor foreign body mucus plug or bronchitis this is four main four causes so in our case it was a tumor so how did we go ahead routine initiations like cbc lft rft ptnr serology ecg chest x ray was done uh, patient needs pet scan and what we did further we did a pleural fluid aspiration and and bronchoscopy this is how we manage uh, this case okay symptom when the patient came initially symptomatic we gave a bro bronchodilators nebulized form hypertrophic bronchi Uh, so to to cause mind double to propagation to relieve her breathlessness symptomatically, then we went ahead with uh, ultrasound guided pleural fluid aspiration. We tapped around uh, 600 ml of pleural fluid and we are sent for analysis. Pleural fluid analysis is pending. Uh, we did uh, the bronchoscopy and uh, we sent it for uh, bronchial lavage for uh, malignant cells and infective etiology. And the same thing we did endobronchial biopsy. And it's sent for HP. And for the if it shows malignancy, it will be sent for IHC, immunohistochemistry. Okay. 
this is how, this is how we manage this case. First, we did pleural fluid aspiration, both diagnostic and therapeutic, and then we did a bronchoscopy with bowel and endobronchial biopsy. Okay. Uh, everything uh, was done on an OPD basis. Patient uh, is like after pleural fluid aspiration, she improved symptomatically, and heart rate came down to around 105, uh, 100 to 105. Okay, she was discharged. Okay, uh, HP and fluid uh, reports are pending. Okay, mm, th thank you all for your patience listening. Uh, if you have any doubt, please uh, uh, leave it in the comment box. Okay, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Shiva Clinic is a place where I work. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you all for your patience. Thank you.